In all cultures throughout history, food has intrigued and occupied us. But what defines a great food experience? And how can we take it even further? We aim to find out by exploring unconventional methods and innovations, as well as ancient techniques. This is Tasteology. Feeding the 5,000 is a feast. Uh, it's a celebration of the positive solutions to food waste. We take food that would have otherwise been wasted and create a delicious meal for 5,000 people and we invite citizens to taste the solution to food waste. Great taste can only come if we treat our ingredients with the respect and love that they deserve. But through overbuying, lack of knowledge in how to store food, and strict cosmetic standards, we throw away more than a third of all the food we produce. In a rapidly growing movement to stop food waste, Tristram Stewart has become the loudest voice. He's the creator of Feeding the 5000, an event that is spreading like wildfire to cities around the world. the first Feeding the 5,000 event, kind of how it all started. We had five weeks to plan the event. I didn't know where we were going to get the food from. I spoke to farmers who were wasting tons of food because it was the wrong shape or size for the supermarkets. And they said, you need a ton of food, we'll send you 15 tons of food. After organizing the first Feeding the 5,000 and having published my book, I was organizing it by myself and with a lot of volunteers. It was when I won a prize with $100,000 attached to it, the Sophie Prize, that I was able to employ somebody to help me, and that was Nikki. Years later, together, we founded the charity Feedback, and we now employ 15 people, we're growing very fast, we operate in dozens of different countries, and we've helped to catalyze a global revolution against food waste. This is a, a spicy sort of fried bread, lots of beef and curry, and this is um, batter pakora, or broccoli pakora. Mmm, nice pakora. Yes. In 2012, here in the United Kingdom alone, 300,000 tonnes of fruit and vegetables that previously would have been wasted for being the wrong shape or size were in fact sold, and that's precisely because we made a big noise about it for events like this, we campaigned on it, made people realise that these cosmetic standards ultimately mean that 20, 30, sometimes 50% of a farmer's crop are being wasted. And once people understand that as the consequence of cosmetic standards, I don't think that many people are insistent that everything should look the same and perfect. Okay, y'all, you know what? The ring's died down a little bit, come on. As food becomes cheaper, we buy more than we need and leave it in the fridge to go bad. Wagyu cow breeder and chef Ludwig Maurer thinks that a large part of the problem is that we don't know what to put where in the fridge. Jeder spricht immer von den besten Gerichten, von den tollsten Produkten. Alles muss super sein. Die Verarbeitung muss das Beste sein. Aber keiner spricht über die Lagerung. Und dabei ist gerade die Lagerung extrem wichtig. Servus, Thomas. Wenn du Koch lernst, ist das eines der ersten Dinge, die du überhaupt lernst, wie man Lebensmittel richtig lagert. Zu Hause, beim Endverbraucher, viele machen das nicht, ich verstehe es nicht. Das Problem ist, dass viele nicht wissen, wo sie was hintun müssen im Kühlschrank. Und ja, Hauptsache kalt. Aber es gibt halt feine, feine Unterschiede, die ein Produkt oftmals dreimal länger haltbar machen. In der professionellen Küche hast du verschiedene Kühlhäuser mit verschiedener Luftfeuchtigkeit. Das hast du zu Hause nicht. Deshalb musst du halt den Raum im Kühlschrank ausnutzen und die richtigen Temperaturzonen finden. Unten zum Beispiel lagert man Fisch und Fleisch bei relativ geringer Temperatur. Unten habe ich mehr Luftfeuchtigkeit. Uh, oben lagert man reifes Gemüse und Getränke, Dosen, Flaschen, lagert man eigentlich in der Tür dort, das ist am wärmsten. Du 
Das meiste Gemüse lagert man im Kühlschrank, aber andere Gemüse, wie zum Beispiel Kartoffeln oder Äpfel, die lagert man am besten außerhalb des Kühlschranks. Aber es ist auch wichtig, dass man äh, gewisse Lebensmittel nicht miteinander lagert. Tomaten zum Beispiel enthalten viel Ethylen. Dies wiederum kann auf andere Lebensmittel übergehen und diese werden eben schneller faulig und äh, halten nicht mehr so lange. Also man kann nicht nur verlieren beim Lagern, sondern man kann auch gewinnen. Vor allem kann man Geschmack gewinnen. Zum Beispiel, man kann den Eigengeschmack beim Dry Aging auch verbessern. Das ist eine uralte Methode des Kühlens und des Halbermachens. Nach der Schlachtung hängen wir das Tier bei 1 bis 2 Grad plus in einer nicht so hohen Luftfeuchtigkeit, sondern 75 Prozent, erst mal drei Wochen am Knochen ab. Dann wird das Tier zerlegt und dann kommt das Feintuning und dann machen wir eine höhere Luftfeuchtigkeit von bis zu 95 Prozent und eine niedrige Temperatur von 2 bis 4 Grad. Und durch diese Methode wird der Geschmack einfach noch intensiver und besser. Deshalb ist es extrem wichtig, nicht nur gute Qualität zu kaufen, sondern diese eben entsprechend respektvoll zu behandeln und richtig zu lagern, damit man nichts wegschmeißen muss, denn dafür ist es viel zu kostbar. Day by day, the food industry is becoming more like the fashion industry, obsessed with beauty and looks. Perfectly fine food is constantly thrown away in supermarkets, but the biggest waste is happening in our own homes. Catering company Culinary Misfits in Berlin wants to change all this. Culinary Misfits is a creative way of um, yeah, doing things with crooked vegetables and forgotten fruits. Maybe this is my favorite misfit, because it could be yeah, a little man or woman or a monster or a rabbit. Maybe there was a stone on the way, on the growing way, so the carrot decided to put two legs I mean, you can put everything in a smoothie, and even if it's soft or really overripe, because you can cut them in pieces and nobody will see if it has had two or three legs or was a perfect carrot. It's a Hokkaido uh, pumpkin, so we can use the skin. And um, also the consistency is very, very well for smoothies. They give a very um, soft and smooth um, taste. So it's not only like fluid, it's more a smoothie. <laughs> yeah, really fresh. Thinking more actively about how we store and cook ingredients will not only reduce the amount of waste, but also lead to tastier and more creative food in the process. What's important right now is to continue raising awareness about what's happening in fields, supermarkets, and our own homes. Ten days before the event, we still didn't know how to cook a curry for 5,000 people, and we didn't have a kitchen. And then we met Para. Para is the chef and he owns the biggest pot in Europe. And he is a total legend. In a place like in India, this is considered a small pot. This is a small one, but here is, well, it's a big pot. This preparation for cooking, you can go through your fridge, find everything that's in there, and almost put it all into this preparation. A banana that has dots in it is more tasty than a green banana, <laughs> you know. They're throwing away the ripe stuff. Apples that have a few dots in it, it just means it's been more organic and less pesticides been thrown on it. But if the food is tasty and people say, yes, this is good, well, then they're going to be more convinced about changing the system of food waste. The way to really attract people to your movement is to make your party bigger, better, more fun than 
the mainstream alternative that is causing planetary destruction. And that's what we're trying to do at Feeding the 5000, is say, look, actually, there is not a conflict between having an excellent time and doing the right thing for the planet. Storing vegetables in low humidity, like any other fridge, makes them lose water and nutrients much faster and go bad more quickly. For example, a water loss of only 3% is enough to have a noticeable impact on almost any ingredient. And an asparagus stalk stored in air that is too dry will lose over 8.5% of its water. AEG Twintech technology keeps the air in the fridge humid, allowing the food to keep its natural taste, nutrients and colour for much longer. <laughs> 